How do people have surgery and not get addicted to opioids? Morphine, codeine, etc. are necessary after major surgery but every day I read about how addicting opioids and other painkillers are, and how patients can get hooked after one dose. In Matthew Perry's book he talks about getting injured on a film set and how quickly he became addicted to painkillers. How do doctors manage the treatment so a patient doesn't become hooked and wind up in a debilitating spiral of addiction? I don't need any surgery but I fear ever being in that position. Some people will feel sick when they take them. Most people will have the intended effect of the pain being taken away and they stop using them when they no longer need them. Some people will feel insanely euphoric and start chasing that feeling. That's how genetic predisposition to addiction works. Some drugs just really click for some people. I had Oxycontin prescribed to me after surgery. I enjoyed it up until I had to take a shit. Never, ever again. It's been four years and I am still traumatized. Edit judging from the replies to my comment, the way to keep people from getting addicted to painkillers after surgery is simply to tell them not to use stool softeners or laxatives, we've solved the opioid epidemic, everybody s, yes, obviously. Edit edit I also can't help but be amused that the advice is directed toward easing my way into opioid addiction rolling on the floor laughing. I chose pooping over opiates. I had knee surgery and a lot of issues with it following, about a year ago I was given opioids, for me, the idea of recreational use never hit me, yes it gave me a decent feeling, but so did morphine before an operation. It's hard to explain and I may be an outlier, but I never viewed it as a fun or enjoyable thing due to the nature of my use. They make me very nauseous and groggy. The groggy part was okay since I needed to rest while healing. The dizzy floating feeling was not fun though. I've had major surgery at least nine times, on top of breaking my leg in three places at three. I've blown a disc in the lumbar section twice, worst pain I've ever felt. For each surgery I've been given some kind of painkillers. Of course the later ones were the opioids, as an adult. I've never become addicted not felt the urge to continue taking them. In my opinion, there are a combination of biological and psychological factors which make it addictive for some and not for others. It's easy to say I would never do that, but the proof is in the pudding. Not everyone is so highly susceptible to addiction s. Some folk can walk away from opioids or booze or other chemicals, quite easily. For opioids I would say that many most people who take them medicinally, also do not take them in a manner that might cause addiction. And of course their usage is observed by their physician surgeons. Many do become addicted, of course, both medicinal and recreational users but IIRC the ask me anything says only one three of users develop an addiction. How do people drink alcohol and not become alcoholics? Usually the doses they get are limited so the patient doesn't get that high off of them. The doctors also will be careful how much they'll prescribe, they'll cut patients off after a bit once they think the patient has sufficiently recovered. I had a kidney transplant six years ago and they gave me Delorded while recovering. Every time it was injected I felt a sense of euphoria, it was this insane ecclesial feeling and for three days, it was joy I took some pills home with me but they weren't the same as the four drip I had in the hospital they made me feel icky. I still think about those three days from time to time and it scares the heck out of me. I had a septorhinoplasty a few years ago and was on an opiate taper for a few weeks, after in addition to the stuff I got in the hospital during the actual surgery. IDK if you've ever been under general anesthesia but I was so out of it for weeks, after that it honestly didn't even occur to me that the opiates made me feel good. I just felt numb and disconnected and useless lol. Addiction has as much to do with the person's situation and mental state as it does with how addictive a drug is. Right now there is a swing the other way, lots of providers aren't prescribing opioids. Lots of ibuprofen and Tylenol. But some feel we have gone too far this way. Best bet is an honest discussion between the patient and provider, but a lot of times people get super defensive over their use of opioids. A lot of times during a serious painful hospitalization patients will get opioids, but won't be discharged on them. So basically we are in a big WTF do we do phase right now. Opioid addiction never occurred to me after my surgery. 
I was given a three-day supply and it lasted five months. And how patients can get hooked after one dose. That's really improbable. For almost everybody the doses given for pain management are just enough to alleviate pain. Plus, a lot of people are just not that susceptible to morphine addition. I have a bottle of Tylenol 3 with morphine codeine and it sits in my cabinet. I've had hydromorphone in the hospital and it was nothing but a painkiller for me. Great question, I was overprescribed Oxycontin for my surgery, and hell yes they worked great for pain relief, but by evening 5 of taking them, I had this weird vision of those Nirvana happy faces floating in my cells, which I took as a sign that my body was telling me I was saturated with opioids. It freaked me out, so I quit taking them and switched to Tylenol. It didn't work as well, but I don't want to get addicted to opioids. Because when I'm in serious pain, I start to come down from climbing the walls ready to murder someone and scream for a week my doctor's words, not mine too, normal. When I start to feel fuzzy or loopy, it isn't fun and I try for something less potent. Some people have a personality that makes them more likely to become addicted to things easily. Not everyone becomes addicted to opioids. Some people get hooked after one dose, but that is unusual. You're going to read about it way out of proportion to how common it is, because it feeds into a narrative of oh no's. Totally innocent person who did nothing wrong got hooked. Most people stop taking opioids as soon as they can because constipation really sucks. Good question. I've often wondered this about myself. I had a compound fracture of my tibia fibula in 1995. This was like the height of when DRS were prescribing opioids like they were tic tacs. I remember I had a huge bottle of them. It was a long and painful recovery so I was taking the max dosage 24-7 for several months. I never got addicted and stopped taking them as soon as I could pain management wise. I'm sure my doctor would have kept prescribing them to me for however long I wanted. I have no idea how I didn't become addicted. Because they stopped using it after the prescription refill dates ended? Me, I almost refused to take them. But people have addictive personalities or genes. I think it is a real thing, but does not affect most people. Because I have kids and I couldn't do that to them. I struggled with addiction in my teens. Addiction really is mind over matter. I have something to live for now, ain't no way I'm allowing addiction to ruin me and my children's lives. How do doctors manage the treatment so a patient doesn't become hooked and wind up in a depilitating spiral of addiction? Honestly, many doctors will refuse to manage pain at all. If they do they will only give you like three days worth of pills. It's an overcorrection from the 2000s, now they're all afraid of going to jail and patients suffer for it. I was given Oxycontin when I got my tubes tied seven years ago. I fucking hated the feeling it gave me, and I only managed to take four pills. I felt gross. I have no other way of putting it. My fiancé is a former addict and loved the stuff apparently, and I don't get how. Could be how I'm wired. I have no clue. I only attempted the medication because it was prescribed and asked if I could have an alternative. I ended up just toughing out the pain and discomfort and took Tylenol. I also get bored easy and, if this is even actually a thing, I don't have an addictive personality either. They didn't make me feel good at all when I took them after major surgery. Maybe the pain went away, but they made me feel sick. Also, they make you insanely constipated. No thank you. Take them as prescribed? No one gets physically addicted after one dose. They mentally become piss weak and refuse to reduce them after the worst of the pain goes away. Physical dependence takes time to build. I recently had knee surgery 7. This time I had a nerve block pump for 4 days after surgery so I barely took any of my opiates. Used less than half of what I was prescribed. The nerve block helped a ton, as did the other medical equipment they had sent to the house. It was a decade since my previous knee surgery. They really have mad progress in trying to manage pain in other ways.